Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Thursday, guys, and it's around 4.55 in the evening, you know, early evening. Um, coming on because I'm going to be getting dinner going now. Today is Thursday, like I said, and um, I have just been exhausted. Uh, I guess from Tuesday, you know, being in the hospital all day and just run, just, just, just all the emotional and just the craziness going on, um, just, just wipes me out, you know. And so I've had a rough couple of days, so I'm just trying to get back on track and just get myself uh, going. But today I woke up and I just was in a lounging mood. I lounged all day. I, um, I actually did something very productive, though, this morning when I got up around 9.30. I needed to straighten out my refrigerator. My refrigerator was just like, oh, my God, I just had to do it. So I didn't even tape. I just got into it. I got it all cleaned out, and oh, I felt so much better. And after that, I was a little more exhausted. So I just been lounging on the couch, watching some crime shows, and just lounging. And I didn't even get dressed today, guys. The only thing I did do, I do, I brushed my teeth. That's what the one thing I did do. And um, then, in a little while ago, I went in the bedroom, and I didn't get dressed. I wasn't getting dressed today. I'd already decided. And so I put a bustier on under my pajamas, you know, my pajamas, so this way I don't, you know, um, uh, um, scare anybody or whatever. <laughs> so, I'm wearing my new pajamas. Aren't they so cute? Uh, what does it say? Buckle up, witches. Love it, guys. Very comfy. And this is what I'm hanging out in today, and I'm not even afraid to show you. I was going to put an apron on, and I'm like, I don't think I even need one. I'll stay. Maybe I, I might put one on. So I, these are just clean, and I don't want to get, in dirt, get it dirty. So I probably will put an apron on. But anyway, let's get started. This is what I'm doing. Let me have a sip of drink. Um, I'm going to make a few fried chicken cutlets today. And I decided to make like stuffed baked potatoes. So what I'm doing is I was gonna microwave them, but I like to I like sometimes to put them in the oven because I like the way the skin comes out. The skin, and especially if I'm making like double baked potatoes, you know, putting them, filling them, in, and then putting them back in the um, oh my god, in the oven. I like them to be a little bit crispy, and so I scrubbed the outside. What I'm gonna... All right, Jenny called. I have to call her right back. Um, so I washed these. I scrubbed them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here, and I'm putting them in the toaster oven. It'll take about 40, 35, 35, 40 minutes. I'm going to put the ol open the olive oil. Oh, it was open already. Hello. I'm going to put some olive oil on them. Okay. And then I'm going to season them. Season them with some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit of garlic powder, nothing else. And then put them in the oven. I poked them already. Okay. And these are going to become, I'm going to put them on like 400, um, for like, I'm going to do 25 minutes and then we'll see if it needs longer. You know, we'll, we'll fork them and see. So 25 minutes on about 400 on um, bake. All right, let's do that. I'm going to cut up some chicken. We're going to do fried chicken cutlets tonight. Yes, I'm doing fried. Not making an enormous amount because it's just it's just Billy, me, and um, Darren, and Julie. But, you know, still, I don't need to make a, a whole lot. Um, put the animals in. Come on. Come on, baby buns. Guys, it's so warm here in upstate New York. It's, let me say it. Oh, it's like 75 degrees. Well, now it's like 73 degrees, something like that. I don't understand it. It's not, It's November. Tomorrow's November 1st. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We don't get any trick-or-treaters here. We never have. We never did. So, yeah. So, that's that's that. But 
All right, so um, let's go with this. Let me just, um, I'll be right back and I'll start with the chicken with you guys. All right, guys, I had to call Jenny back. It's hard to get her off the phone, but we had a nice conversation. She wanted to show me her, uh, her stuff for Halloween and all that stuff. She was helping, her, she was helping her <laughs> staff in the kitchen, having fun, making, helping, assisting with dinner. With, they were making pizza and chicken wings and they were having salad and all that. So she was having a good time. So she wanted to tell me. So as I was speaking to her, I cut up the chicken. Um, I have this chicken here that I had bought at Sam's. So what I did was I just took the um, the big pieces and cut them like down the middle two or three times, made them into thinner pieces. Um, I think this is all I'm gonna make. Um, I'm trying to make, you know, when it comes to like goulashes and stuff like that, I make a little bit more because during the, if it's in the beginning of the week, because the guys take it for, um, let me get my charger. The guys take it for lunches. But when I'm making this, chicken cutlets, I'll make a couple extra, you know, two or three extra, because we like to chop on them, but not, not an over amount, you know. Um, so yeah. All right, so um, I'm just gonna, a bread, I, I have a breadcrumb mixture here that I'm using, all right. Um, let's see. Let's move you over. Let's put this off. This. So, um, yes. So I had breadcrumbs. All right. A little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm going to put this, the rest of this grated uh, parm, grated, grated parm in there. do salt we'll do pepper we'll do garlic powder onion powder that's onion we'll do some parsley I trust in God my Savior, he will never fail. He will never fail. Okay, seasoning, parsley, and let's do some buttery steakhouse because you know it's my favorite. My favorite stuff. Just like adding it. Um, trying to think what vegetable I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Let's just. Um, oh, you know what I might do? I might do yes. I think I'm gonna do steam some broccoli, guys, because I have some fresh broccoli. I think I'll steam that. Maybe I'll use my steamer that I got. Let me see. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I've never used a steamer, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I guess you do this, right? Yes, it goes right in there. So I guess I fill the water in here and then I'll cover it, right? <clears throat> I guess I'll let the water boil first. I don't really know, but we'll we'll do it that way. I think that's how you do it. All right, so let's put the, let's put the um, water in here. I'm going to get the, the broccoli out. The broccoli is in a bag. I'm just going to rinse it off, even though it's, um, the broccoli is, uh, I think it's pretty, I think it's cleaned already. Um, people were saying to me the other day, Linda, can I see your head? We only see your, your half of your head. Well, when I'm, when I'm cutting and cooking and stuff, I tend to move the video down, you know, the, the camera down. So it could, it could get me cutting and stuff like that. But when, and sometimes when I'm when I I'm talking, I talk, I'm still talking, and the camera's still that way. So I'm just trying to be more aware of that. Thank you for letting me know that. I'm sorry if that bothers you. I'm trying to do my best, guys. All right, let's let's get the broccoli out. Uh, let's see. Um, All right, 
So this broccoli is washed and ready to eat. Now the thing is, is that it's really big, but I'm gonna leave it big because I'll just break it up after it cooks because um, we're gonna use it for in the potatoes too, um, with some cheese and stuff. I don't have any liquid cheese, I don't think, but we just have the regular cheese, but yeah. This is good here from, from Walmart. All right, so I guess let's salt the water. I don't know, do I? I guess. Salt the water. Oh, wait, we gotta let this come to a boil, right? Is that how it works? You guys tell me, is that how it works? Ah, I don't freaking know. All right, let, let me get the top. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, let's put this over here. Put this over here. I think this is about. Yeah. All right, let's let this come to a boil. This is so nice, the steamer. Love this. Let's move all this crap. Over here. Um, yeah, something smells like it's burning. Let me just check this. Well, everything's, everything's good. Okay. Um, let's get you over here. So, the status with my phone, I told you guys that when we were walking out of the hospital the other day, I sat down, I couldn't find my phone, and it was outside in the parking lot, and Billy found it, and somebody ran it over. So, my phone wasn't working properly to begin with. My phone is, um, the speaker on it is completely broken, so I knew that I knew going to need a phone very soon anyway. Um, but this just put the nail in the coffin. Um, so, um, it's all cracked, and it, you know, you got to be really careful with it, because it's, it's cracked, um all right here you see look it's really bad and um when you swipe up you know sometimes i cut my finger because i sl you know slice my finger because i forget that it's like that and there's little cracks in it or whatever so i've been pricing a phone um this is an older phone and i don't have to have a newer phone you know the newest phone i first of all i can't afford it second of all i don't i don't need that but i would like just a couple of grades up just so i can keep up with the times and I use my phone for a lot of stuff. I also use it for, I'd like to use it a lot too for my videoing and stuff because when my iPad acts up, then I have a backup for my phone. But right now I can't video on my phone. When I do, it doesn't work. You guys have seen, I've made videos and it, there's no sound. There's this, there's that, and the other thing. It's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, I'm working on getting um, a newer phone, but still not a, not a new phone, but you, you know what I mean. Um, but the thing is, is like, don't, this is like life, you know, life is really funny. It's because like, when you think that like, wait one second, as soon as you think like, wait one second, I gotta take some of my, I gotta take my, um, my, uh, anti, um, what is it? for the acid reflux because it's bothering me today and I haven't taken it yesterday. Um, you know when you think like, oh, you have a little extra money in the bank. Oh, okay, you know, like, oh, you feel like, oh, I can breathe for five minutes. Oh, don't, don't you find, or is it, is it just me? Don't you find that always something happens that, that comes along that's gonna take that money away? It's like, you know, when you, when you put money away for a rainy day, then all of a sudden, you know, your um your 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 oil breaks or your oil uh, thing breaks or your whatever and that comes along and you're like oh well at least i have the money you know but it just stinks because you can never get ahead like you put stuff away and you think you know i have this i could save this or so i'm trying to save a little bit here and there and everything and it just right away and it's so so my husband's like you know, we, we have it, but, you know, and I'm like, the thing is, is I know we have it, but, like, I don't want to spend it because I don't want, it's like a big bulk of money that could be, like, security that could be saved 
in the bank that we don't need to use, you know. But this, this is life, like such as life, you know, such as life. So I guess I should be thankful that, <clears throat> that we do have it to use or whatever. But still, my husband's like, you know, because we're getting prices on some phones and he's like, if you, if you get a good price, just get it. And I'm like, I, 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 I'll see. And he's like, no, Linda, not we'll see. You need a phone. That's like your lifeline. You need your phone. So, yeah. So that's just the story of my life. But I'm sure it's not only my life. I know that everybody goes through that. As soon as you put a little bit away, something comes along to take it. And that's just the way life is. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful that, you know, um, that I do have it. But even though I don't want to use it or, you know, it's there for a reason. So maybe God put it there for a reason. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's what, that's life, you know. Hmm. All right. So that's that. I'm going to wait for that water to boil. And I'm going to start breading these chicken cutlets. Um... Let me put this over here out of the way. Got to get organized. Should, well, I'm trying to think of what kind of... Uh, well, I'm going to make the broccoli, so that'll be the vegetable. That's going to go with the baked potato. So, yeah, that's that's it. Broccoli, baked potatoes, and chicken. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm not going to use egg tonight. I'm just going to use water. Just feel like using water. And you don't always have to use egg. If you want, like when I make like real fried chicken like you know like like the chicken pieces i'll use egg because that has to really adhere you know that that chicken really has to adhere that really has to the um the crumbs and everything it really has to adhere to the chicken where this is fine this is this will be fine um all right so let's get moving this was from yes the other day and we got chinese we got a pumpkin. Next day after tomorrow, we'll be getting some foily stuff up here. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I don't really have much fall stuff, but, like, we'll get Thanksgiving stuff. Um, I have to go back to the Dollar Tree because they really didn't have anything at that Dollar Tree as far as that kind of stuff. But I'll, I'll look around. Dollar General, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right, so we're going to put... I'm going to do mostly olive oil, guys. I do olive oil in, um, when I fry my chicken cutlets. I will use a little bit of vegetable oil. Not much. This has lasted me forever. I don't really fry anymore, you guys see. I'm just going to put about a half a cup of, olive, of, of um, vegetable oil, and then the rest will be olive oil. But I'm gonna go in the back and get my olive oil because I have it in I have it in here, but it's um it's in my in my thing and my bottle, and I don't want to use the whole bottle for that. Because you know, I'll need to go that. This, ah, oh, I'm so grateful for this. I'm gonna to have to go back. I'm gonna to have to go and get another one because I'm so used to having the big one now. Um, I've had this big one that, that Lily had sent me with all that stuff she sent me that day, and so um, it's really been great having the big one, so, yeah. So, I, I still have about, probably about this much in here. A lot, there, there's a lot in here left. But I love it. Love olive oil, and it's the best thing for you, really. Alright, so we got olive oil in there. Let me go put this back. You know what, I want to put something over that, because... All right, let's see if this is boiling yet. Woo, that's a little warm. Another couple of minutes, I hear it. I hear it, um, uh, you know, starting to boil a little bit. So, um, let's put this over here. Let's get a plate. 
We got paper dishes. No, there's nothing I listen to worship music because I absolutely love it. And I listen to this certain one. It's called Evelation Evelation Worship. And their songs just, oh my God, they just break my heart. They just get to my heart. They just, I don't know what it is, but they just, I cry. Like, I, 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 I love it because it makes me feel so good, but it also makes me a little sad. I guess it's just very emotional, you know, it's just very emotional. All right, let's check these potatoes. They've only been in 20 minutes, so let's fork them and see because um, I, I doubt that they're done. I doubt it, but I want to see where they're at. Let's turn them over. All right, let's put them on for another, we're going to put them on for another 20, about 20 minutes. And I'll check them in 20 minutes. They should be good and done probably by that time. Um, yeah. All right, so we got this here. We got this here. Let's move this over. Move this here. Move this. These are um, treats that I give that we sometimes give for Cooper. We stick his medicine in here. Only one or two pills because he's, uh, he's doing better with it, but we still have to force him to take it. We have to open up his mouth, shove it down his throat. He just, you know, not good. Not good, but... He's getting the picture now. He knows it has to be done, so. All right, so let's get the, um, let's get the broccoli into the steamer. This is, this seems to be a little bit hot, so I'm gonna use my thing. I mean, I, I, I guess this is how you're supposed to do it, right? Yeah, all right. All right, put the top back on that. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. I have no idea how long. We'll check it in 10 minutes. All right. All right, guys, so let's get moving on, moving and shaking. And this. <clears throat> Very quiet in the house. Darren's upstairs. He just got home from work a little while ago, took a shower, and went upstairs. Frankie's in his bedroom. Julie's not home yet, and Bill's working. So it's just us right now. Yankees lost. Oh, how disappointing. They, they did so good, but they just couldn't. Ah, oh, they're so, so sad. They, they just couldn't. Pull it out. But I love my Yankees, and they did amazing, and I'm very proud of them. Even though they couldn't pull it out, they just, they just, they just didn't get it done, and that's okay. They're human, you know, but they did really, really good, and maybe next year. Next year, this year, they came so, so, so close, so we'll see. We'll see, but they did amazing. Go Yankees. Cute. 
So next, after Halloween is Thanksgiving. Whoa, I can't believe it's that time of the year again. I really can't. Oh, you know what, guys? Tomorrow's supposed to be... Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's supposed to be Fall Food Friday. And I haven't made anything for Fall Food Friday. <laughs> he was... This is my last Friday. I'll probably do it tomorrow and just post it tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet. I have something in there that I can come up with. Um, maybe I'll do an appetizer. Because I'm going to do appetizers and stuff for the football. For football and just for, you know, the holidays and stuff. So maybe, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll do an appetizer. It'll all be good. Yeah, this weather better... Um, oh, my God. Like I said, it's been so warm. I think it's supposed to warm up. I, th I mean, chill up. I hope. Isn't it weird how when, when it's chilly, we want it to be warm. When it's warm, we want it to be chilly. But now, like, it's, you know, it's fall, so I want it, like, I want to feel like it's fall. I don't want to feel like I'm sweating in, in October. <laughs> but, again, such as life. So just coat these up. Let's see how many do I have here. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four... I love, I don't know if that you guys, but I, I love crime shows and I love shows that are like real. Like I love, don't get me wrong, I love like FBI and like Law and Order and like all those shows, you know, that, those kind of shows. But I love real true crime shows. Like I watch a lot of those shows where there's missing people, like, like the missing and people that have gone missing or, and, you know, people that have, um, get convicted of something. I forget what that sh what that show's called, um, on A&E. It's called, um, Trial and something. And what they do is they, um, they, they, they go through a, um, a reality real trial with, with somebody who, um, you know, was accused of something and the lawyer, you know, it goes through the whole thing with the, with the trial and the lawyer and all that. And, and then they come and they show the ending of what happens. Either they get convicted or they get quitted or whatever. I love that show. That's one of my favorite shows. But the last couple of weeks I've been really, especially with, with the streaming now that I have, I don't have cable anymore. I really enjoy watching um, show uh, the, the crime shows, the documentaries of people that have gone missing and like, you know, kids and just adults and just, um, or if they just fall off the face of the earth and it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's devastating. It's, it's horrible. And it's just, you know, so many women and men and just have disappeared or, and, and nobody knows where they are. And it's just really sad for the family. And I just love to see the outcomes. And, you know, a lot of the times, most of the times, they, they, there's no outcome. They, they can't find them, you know. I, but I just love it. And that's what I watch. When my husband's home, we watch other stuff. He watches his stuff. I do what I do. You know, we really don't watch shows like that. Although he does like shows like that as well. But not not as much as me, but he, but he does. Um, but when when he's home, I you know I let I just let him watch his shows and and not that I let him, but he that's just how it is. I don't really like to watch my shows, my crime shows when he's home. I like to do it when he's not home. So or at night, like when he's sleeping or whatever for work, you know, whatever. But anyway, that's what I enjoy. Um, but yeah, so those are my favorite kind of shows. I've always been like that. Love those shows. So yeah, um, but we watch a lot of shows together. I don't know if you guys watch all the Chicago, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago PD. Oh my God, we love all those shows. Nine One One. Um, uh, what are the other, what's the other one? So many shows we watch together. We're really behind Survivor now. Uh, we, we, we watch Big Brother. Now Big Brother's over. And now Survivor's. We're watching Survivor. Um, so we watch those kind of shows together. Like when we sit down at dinner when he's home, we, um, we sit and we watch those shows together when we eat. So 
So yeah, my cruise is in January. I'm really excited. I'm, we're starting to, you know, I got that outfit. I'm just starting to pick up things, little things here and there. Still, still have a few things to get. Not a lot, you know. Um, my sister, who's a very big, um, you know, cruiser, she's telling us, oh, this, you only have to bring, a, you know, you don't have to bring a lot of clothes, like, you know, a couple of sundresses, and we're, we're going four days, so it's not like I'm going to be there a week, but uh, anyway, you know, whatever you need, um, but, you know, a bathing suit or two, and um, sundresses, and shorts, and, you know, and all that, so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to, I got that one jumper, we're gonna wear together, um, all of us are gonna wear, um, the, we all got the same jumper, but in a different color. And we're gonna wear that one night, um, yeah. So all together, so we're gonna do that. And then um, uh, I gotta get, like I said, I gotta get some sundresses and I wanna just be comfortable. And you know, I will bring a little bit of extra clothes just in case with the D word, I gotta be careful, you know, and um, yeah, so. But yeah, so uh, it's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. I don't like to fly at all, and I'm not a big, I'm not a, the biggest, best favorite. I don't really, I'm not a big water person, so I really am not crazy about cruises, but I went on one years and years ago, and it was okay. It was okay. It, you know, I had to take Dramazine, and I had a little bit of nausea and all that. That was okay. That, that settled. I'm um, not too crazy about it, but I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have fun. I'm um, not crazy about flying either. i um, not a big flyer at all. So it's going to be a little bit, um, I'm going to have a little anxiety, but once I get settled, I'll be fine. I got my cousins, I got my sisters, and uh, it'll all be good. I'm not going to not live my life, you know. I have to, can't live my life in fear. And all I know, guys, is that God's got me. God's got me. He's going to take care of me. And if one thing is, I'm not going to preach to you guys, but... One thing I'm, I'm trying to do is, is totally give everything to God and know that he is my Lord and Savior and that he will protect me. He watches over me and my family and everybody. And I know I don't have to be afraid because he is there. And so that's what I try to instill in my, in my, in my head and everything. Alexa, stop. So that's, that's it. So I'm trying to work on that. You know, that, that's a work in progress, but... Um, if you have God in your life, you'll never be afraid. That's, that's how I feel. Not that I'm completely there yet. I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting it. But if you have God in your life, I feel a lot better when I remember that God has my back. Only God. Only God. God's the only one that can do it. You know, the only one that's going to be able to help you in that way. That's just my opinion. So... Everybody has their own beliefs, guys. You know, that's it. All right. Well, moving on from that. So, also, guys, I'm praying for everybody that they make um, their own decision for the election. I know the election's coming up. I never, ever, ever talk about the election. I will never talk about my candidate. I will never talk about all that stuff because that is a, just a, a hot, a hot topic. My husband, my husband. My son and I um, are on opposite um, sides, and the minute we open up our mouths, it's, a, it's, it's an argument. So we just choose not to discuss it. Our whole house is, um, this house is divided um, about 90%. It's divided 90%. 90%. Um, we got one part, some people who are for this and some of Anyway, whatever it is, all I have to say is good luck, guys, and just vote the way you want to vote vote for what's in your heart and um and that's it and vote guys because if you don't vote then it doesn't it doesn't help at all if you vote you're 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 um you're you know, you're making a stand for yourself and for what you feel is right in your country whatever happens happens but good luck to all of you and may god take care of all of us regardless of what happens please lord please lord and that's it all right, let's check the potatoes. Um, my, the alarm just went off, so let's check the broccoli because I have no idea what the story is with the broccoli. Let's check it. All right. I trust in God, my Savior. 
Oh my goodness, wow. That's actually done. It is done. I'm gonna shut it off and just let it sit. 10, what, 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 I, 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I put the timer on for 10 minutes, guys. Look at that. Completely done, perfect, perfect timing. That's nice, that was really, really nice. All right, let's check the potatoes. Um, Cooper. I don't know, I'm going to do five more minutes. Five, eight more minutes because one of them, it, it seems like it's just about done. The other one um, has a little bit more give to it. So that's like, that was in for like, that was in for like 12, 15 minutes. So probably about another 10 minutes and I think they'll be done. And then what I'm gonna do is cut, slice them, let them cool a little bit, and then I'll, I'll get all the potatoes out of it. I'm gonna make like a potato mixture and then we're gonna put them back in and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do broccoli and uh, broccoli and cheese. Um, I gotta go look in the back and see what cheese I have back there. Not sure if I have any Velveeta. I might have some Velveeta. If I don't, I'm just gonna use shredded cheese I'm not making any roux or any cheese sauce. I just, I just can't. I just can't. Oh, so I have the pan over here. Oh, there's a pan over here heating up for like 10 minutes now. So now I just had to shut it because I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm smelling something. I'm like, what is that smell? Why is that off? I think that I lost the power in the... Um, I forgot I put this on, so let me let that cool off completely because that's going to be way too hot. And then we'll start frying the chicken because we have to fry the chicken in order to have chicken, right? <laughs> forgot that. I totally forgot, guys. I totally forgot. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I shut it, I shut it, and I, I just put a piece of chicken in and just put it back on low, and look how it's sizzling. Thank God I would have burnt them. And I don't like, we don't like them crispy. We like them, well, we like them, you know, brown, but not burnt. All right, so I should be able to put four in here. All right, so everything's done. The broccoli's done. Um, just wait for the potatoes. All right, so that's cooking away. Check out those potatoes in a second. So I really enjoyed using my steamer. I love it. Very, very awesome. Very awesome. Um... Oh, yes, guys, let me show you something. I'll be right back. Okay. 
So, hello. Hello. All right, guys. Everybody's saying to me, Linda, I was calling this a reindeer. It's not a reindeer, apparently. I must have just looked at it quickly from the brown, thinking it was reindeer. Didn't even see the hat here. I don't know. Hello, Linda. Anyway, everybody's telling me it's not a reindeer. It's a gingerbread. Yes, it is a gingerbread, okay, everybody? You were right. It's a gingerbread, and I absolutely love it. I am going back to the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to get a couple more because I just adore these things. I want them in my kitchen. I want them in my living room. I just want them all over the place. So, he's going to be my little friend. And um, so, I'm going to get more of these. <laughs> even, though, even though it's not Christmas yet, I don't care. I can do what I want. This is my my channel and he's going to be with us so there he is he's so cute isn't he he is so adorable let's put him over here because we're going to be over here <laughs> merry christmas my husband um my husband let me tell you he's always been he loves christmas he really does but he's always been a little bit of a screwed show and so we always tease him because, like, we start Christmas music early and all that. And he, like, gets all, you know, he gets all freaky, like, oh, my God, you're singing Christmas music already? I love it. I love it. Love Christmas, love Christmas, love Christmas. So, yeah, so right after, I, we used to do our, we used to, um, I think I could fit another one in here. We used to decorate, like, around our, my birthday. My, my birthday is December 13th. Julie's birthday is December 12th. She was born at, um, right before my birthday on December 13th. She was born at 12, 12.20, something like that. The doctor asked me, because he was inducing me. He's like, do you, want, do you want to have her on your birthday or my birthday? I said, if we can, let's give her her own birthday. So, she was born, a, a day, you know, a day before, a couple hours before my birthday. Anyway, we always used to, we would, we would decorate and put the Christmas tree up around our birthdays, Christmas, uh, December 12th, December 13th. So, but the last couple of years, well, I've been doing it earlier. I've been doing it early. We've been usually putting the Christmas tree up a week before that. And my husband's always like, we're going to put it up early. Yeah, we're going to put it up early. So, some years I feel like it, some years I don't. This year, I think I'm going to do it early. This year, I think I'm going to do it early. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood right now. Right right at this minute. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, guys. Because, you know, it could change. But anyway, I did love him. He's so cute. He do. I got issues. I do. I really have issues. At least I admit it, right? <laughs> Let's check these freaking potatoes. Why do I my light on here? Uh, to get a little brown. All right, that's, you see that, guys? Went right through. Went right through. So these are done. I'm going to shut this off. Let me go shut my light off. All right. Um, okay, let's bring it over here. I'm just going to put the light on for one minute. I'm going to get the, um, the thermometer just to, I, I'm pretty sure that they're done, but I just want to double check it. I just like to do it just for my own, you know, because chicken, you got to be careful, but you know. This freaking thermometer, it, it's just a pain in the ass. Okay, this is done. All right, this one is done. I'm going to put it, ooh, I'm going to put it in here. The rest of them are done because um, that's dinner. Let's let's um. There's some freaking glare here. All right, that one I just put in. So I think that one's a little bit thicker. Let's let that one stay. Well, the, the other one is done too. So and guys, they they cook um they cook once they're out a little bit too. So.
All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on these. I'm gonna put the flame up just a little bit higher. Cause you want the oil really hot, so it, it's hot enough that, you know, you're not gonna, um, you're not going, just the oil isn't gonna like, you know, just seep into the chicken. So just a little bit of salt. All right, so that's four, so I got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty for the four of us. All right, guys, let, let's get the potatoes out. The purpose is to get them out of there so they can cool off. Hello? 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 Hello again, hello. Did you, ever hear, did you ever watch that movie, The Jazz Singer? If you never saw The Jazz Singer with Neil Diamond, please Google, please, please watch it, stream it, because it's, oh my God, I love it. I love that movie. All right, let's put these. It's such a great movie. Hello again, hello. I think about you all right, now I'm keeping this because this we're going to put back in the oven with the cheese on it to melt it and stuff. Hello. All right, let's cut it, guys. Al, this lunch is not cutting it. It's not cutting it. Maybe it's been crazy. And maybe I'm to blame. All right. Now, my husband more than likely will not eat one of these. Darren's probably more than likely not going to eat one of these. So me and Julie will have a half. And then we'll have two halves left over, which is fine. I like them for lunch or tomorrow night's dinner or whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. All right, guys, so the chicken's all done. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know when you want to, like, keep something warm? If I, um, I have the paper towel in it, and I don't want to put it in the oven right now because I'm going to not taking everything out of my big oven, and I'm going to use the oven for the, for the baked potatoes, the other oven. So, um, a trick that I, uh, a tip of the day I want to let you know. If you want to cover this, wait till it cools and then cover it. Because what happens is when it's really crispy, fried chicken, whatever you make that's really fry, that's fried, once you put the top on it, it makes it get soggy. So, leave this. So, even if you have to put it back in the oven for five, ten minutes, more minutes to crisp it up, you know, to warm it up again, don't put the tin foil over it until... It is um, cooled. Otherwise, you're going to have soggy. It's not going to be crispy. It's not. Okay? That's just my tip of the day. All right, let's get, these, this, let's get this potato mixture done. Now, this is, should be hot enough to deal with, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not, you know, it's hot enough to, it's cool enough, I mean, uh, so it won't burn my hand. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to put, take all the potatoes out of here, okay? Now, just be careful. I mean, if it's, if you break the, the freaking thing a little, it's not a big deal. Who's going to really know? It's not, you know, it, this is homemade, so it is what it is. But try to just leave a nice little bit of a layer so you don't make holes in it. But like, a, it's not, the, you know, it's not the end of the world if you have a little hole in it. Okay, so just get as much potato as you can out. If any, I'm, I know my, that's why I wash the potato because I love the potato skins. So I'll be eating the potato skin. But anyway, you want a nice, you want it to be hold, hold up so you could, you know, this has a little crack and that's fine. It'll survive. Um, you know, you want to hold it up so it, um, it holds up, you know, with, with the potato mixture that you're going to put in there. Sometimes you just got to change things up. Like, you know, I love baked potatoes, and I bought this big bag of potatoes. I told you, 10 pounds at freaking uh, Sam's, and I still have, like, 
a quarter of a pound of the five pound bag that I had. So I'm trying to use up these potatoes. But anyway, um, you know, I like to switch it up a little bit, make some mash. Uh, last night when I made that, when I made that goulash, did you guys see that goulash? Yeah, when I made the goulash, um, I put potatoes in it. And God, guys, just so you know, I wasn't a fan. Uh, it was good. It like it, it. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was good, but it really wasn't something I liked. It wasn't something that it didn't didn't it didn't come out the way I wanted it to come out. I had a vision, and it just it didn't come out like I wanted it to come out. But everybody, uh, the Bill and and Darren absolutely loved it. Julie wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan. So me and Julie didn't eat that. We ate something else, and I won't tell you what that was. <laughs> That's private. We did get takeout. We got, Julie ordered something takeout and it was delicious. But I'm not going to tell you what it was. It was good though. Anyway, you could do that once in a while. Didn't break the bank. Alright, so see, this broke a little bit too. Sometimes, and also, probably it's doing that too because um, they're, this, they're, they're a little bit crispy, which I don't care. It'll be fine. I made, you remember on my fall, one of my fall food Fridays, I made the, um, the, um, the sweet potato ones. Oh, God, they're so good. They were amazing. I'm going to definitely make those again. I might make those for the holidays, too, for Thanksgiving. All right. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to put these to the side and let them just stay over there. We're going to salt those two guys. Now this I don't want like mashed potatoes. This I want, I want like choppy. Like I want, you know, in pieces. Mm. Mm. No salt in it, so it's not that flavorful, but. Oh, his head is, his head is taken off. That's not good. Let's put him here. Will you see his, uh, you won't be able to see his head. All right, well, we'll just leave them here for now because we can't do anything about it. All right. <laughs> Let's smash this up a little bit. Mm. Um, you know what you can get also, which is a really easy, like, like a, a, a weeknight dinner? You can get, you know, like the broccoli and cheese that's frozen with the cheese sauce in it, it, you know, the liquid cheese in it. When they're on sale, buy a couple of those, stick those in the freezer. You could put that right over a baked potato and it changes the whole baked potato. You could do the cream spinach or even regular spinach, frozen cream, you know, spinach. Put it in there with a little bit of milk, even cream it up and put that over it. You could put mushrooms, you could put anything you want on top of a potato. Anything, bacon, cheese. Oh, so good. But those are good to keep in, um, even if you have like broccoli soup. I actually have some broccoli cheese soup in there. I could probably, I could pour right over this if I wanted to. Just, just to make things simpler for a, like for a, a, a weeknight meal. You know, if you work, you come home, it's five o'clock, it's five thirty, six o'clock. And you, you know, you, 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 you're making a chicken cutlet or you're making a chicken, you know, in the oven or a meatloaf or whatever you make. It's just a, um, a quick a company to it, you know? All right, that's perfect. And I don't know about you guys, and it's not really good for me because it's a carb, but potatoes, I just like, I, I can't, potatoes have to be in my life, so. You know, I'm very sorry. Like, it's one of the carbs that I will not give up. All right, so let's do this. Now, I'm going to put butter. And, yes, there's going to be butter in this. So I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, Linda, you put too much butter. You know what, guys? In, all in moderation, okay? Butter, butter, and butter. Probably like two tablespoons of butter. All right, I'm going to heat this up again. I think before I put it put it in the thing. Alright, let's do a little bit of salt. Definitely black pepper. 
Um, let me get uh, the milk. I think I might use a little bit of, um, let's see. Let's lose some little half and half. A little bit of half and half. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of sour cream. Okay. Probably about two tablespoons, I would say. What are you doing in there? What's Koopy doing? What are you doing, buddies? Being cute? Let's do sour cream. And, guys, we're gonna, let me just taste this because this was um, in the refrigerator. And I just want to make sure that it's good before I put it on my potato. Mm hmm Perfect. I'm not going to use the same spoon. Obviously. But, you know, it happens. Um. Now, this is a staple that I use a lot in the winter. And I use it in the summer, too. But when I don't have my fresh basil out of my garden. I love this. Love the basil. It's in the, um, in the, in the produce section. It's not expensive. Get it guys. It is amazing. They have parsley. They have basil. I think they have cilantro. They have a few different kind of herbs, but this just changes. It, it's a game changer. Is this one open? I don't even think this is open. I haven't used this yet. The smell, guys, it's it's amazing. What is going on with this shots of the mama thing? Cause it's not even open. Hello, Linda. Hello. There we go. And you gotta be a little careful with it. I mean, you 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 could go a little overboard if you put too much. It's gonna be really basiled out, but because it's a really potent, strong flavor, but it's so good. I put it like in my salads and like you can put it, you put it in sauces. Look at it. So, you, you know, you don't need, a, a, you don't need an enormous amount. You just don't. Where's that fork that I had? Did I use that fork? Oh, here it is. It just really flavors your meal, flavors your chicken. You can put it in like your, um, put it like mix it in with some melted butter and pour it over your chicken. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna mix cheese in with this, I think. I think I have some provolone in there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe then on top, I will put in some, um, where's my, uh, oh, here. Oh, I don't think I have any spoons. I think I have knives left. Oh, I have plastic spoons here. I kept the plastic spoons. Um, I think I'm gonna put um, cheddar on top. All right, let's give this a little taste, see if it needs anything. Mm. Wow. That basil is delicious. Mm. Oh my God. Love it. And it really is a perfect amount. No more because if I put any more in there, I think it would be too much. I'm going to do a little bit. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of the, um, that was the steakhouse one. I'm gonna do the, the buttery lemon. Where's the buttery lemon one? Yeah, I want a little bit of lemon in here. Guys, this one is so great too, the Kinder buttery lemon. Get it, get it. Mm. So good. I'm gonna get the provolone cheese. Give it a mix, give this a mix. Another spoon. This one goes in the garbage. Mmm. Mmm. I can't, I can't. It's delicious.
guys, that is so yummy. That is so yummy. Here I have provolone here. And I guarantee you, now this is open already, but it's already giving me difficulty and I don't have the patience or the time. I don't. So I will just use it, cut it, and then we'll put it in the Ziploc. That's what we'll do. All right, let's do that. I'm just gonna just throw some cheese in here. Hmm. It's a little something different. We'll do one more. Now, this is, you know, this is not something you're going to make every single night, unless you prepare it all. You know, if you're working for a woman, a working father, a working mother, whatever, you come home. You're not going to do this every single night. But if you have yourself prepared, you can always do it when you get home, just throw it together. If you want for your kids, your kids would love this. So I'm just going to throw some cheddar in there as well. Okay. mix it up now these are going to be very full and the potatoes came out of the potato so so good it's so good all right let's put it into the potatoes put as much cheese or no cheese if you want whatever you want you don't have to put any cheese in it but don't put anything that you want put in it you don't have to put any everything that I put in it do whatever you want all right I'll take a sip Shit. What did I forget? The broccoli. See what I mean, guys? Do you see what I mean? 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 How I forget. The broccoli is the star of the show. <laughs> it really is the star of the show. All right, so um, let's put. Let me do something here. Alright. Gonna put a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Can you guys see what's going on? A little bit of butter. Butter, salt. Now it's it's definitely cooked enough where it's gonna break up, but I want it a little bit smaller. I want it in little little um florets, you know, but it's definitely breaking up, but I don't want it like mush. So if it was cooked perfectly, I probably could have did it like eight minutes. Ten minutes probably was a little bit much, but let's taste it. See if it has any flavor. 
It's really good. It's really good. All right, perfect. So let's mix some of this up in here. I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but that's okay. You know, it'll be really good in here. Bro um, uh, mushrooms. Oh, we do that with mushrooms one day. Do a little bit more. All right, guys, let's bring you closer, okay? Let's get a bigger spoon. That's so good. All right, put this over to the side. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Now, you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit of shredded cheese on the bottom. You don't have to. Do what you want on your potatoes. This will be fun for your kids to do. You could do like a little potato bar if you want. Your kids will have a wall doing this. All right. Let's stuff it. Okay, now stuff it in there. Make them as big as you want. If you want to, you know, you can use this as like a mashed potato if you want to use it as a side for like a different dish, a different night. If you don't want to, you know, or you save it, freeze it and save it and make, um, and make more baked potatoes one night, you know, a different night and just use the skins and I don't know, put it on anything. Maybe put it on top of a casserole. I don't know. There's, there's, the possibilities are endless. That's the whole thing. Use your creativity and the possibilities are endless, guys. I can tell you right now, Julie and I will eat one and we won't even eat the whole thing. But we'll save it or we'll eat it. We, it will be eaten. These are amazing. And what I really like about them, I'm going to eat this piece of broccoli. It was too big to go on that potato. Way too big. What I like about it, you can do whatever you want. Make them however you want. Look at that. Mmm. These are even good. Guys, for um appetizers. Oh, I have a great idea for an appetizer. I better write it down. Because if I don't write it down, I swear to God, I'll forget. I swear. And I don't want to tell you guys. I don't want to tell you guys. But it's going to be awesome. Oh, my God. I just thought of it. Let me go over to the pen. Give me one second. I'm not even kidding. Because I will forget. And then I'll say, oh, shoot. I wanted to make. I'm telling you. I'm just going to finish it all off. All right. There we go. Mm. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. They're amazing. They are really amazing. All right. We're going to put this in here. I gotta, do I have, a, oh, I have a pen over there. I gotta, I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'm gonna come back with you. I'm gonna go write down my idea. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this heated up, this was heating up for like 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna put the cheese on top. There's cheese, like I said, inside of it. You can even put some broccoli on top if you want. I think it has plenty of broccoli. If you want more broccoli, 
do what you want. After you take it out, you can put a dollop of sour cream. It's up to you. I definitely like it like that. It always makes me nervous when I hear the dogs drinking because it almost sounds like Cooper's having a seizure, but he wasn't, thank the Lord. Ah, I feel like it's, it's I, I'm not trying to jinx it, but I feel like it's coming at that time again. It's been, it's been a couple of weeks and it usually happens every couple, two, three, four weeks. So any day now, can't, I, I just can't. I anticipate it, you know, worry about it. Oh, Lord in heaven. God is good. God, fill me up with your strength. God, fill me up with your love. God, fill me up with your grace okay let's put it back in there for just a couple of minutes and it'll be melted i'm actually gonna put it on broil let's put it on broil for like two minutes okay all right we're gonna eat guys okay we're going to eat i'm gonna keep one of these bits, these two bags i might use them for something that i can use them with and put bro your broccoli in them or something we don't need any more butter. This has to go in the fridge. This I'm going to use. This I'm here. This I'll put right in here. The provolone because it had cheese in here. You gotta double use your things, guys. You don't always have to throw these bags out. You can re reuse them. And if they don't have meat or anything in them or anything that's you know that just whatever is bad, um, use, reuse them, rinse them out. I rinse them out sometimes, dry them. Not always, not 100% of the time, but a lot of the time. A lot of the time I do because especially today, it pays to do that. Everything is so much freaking money. All right. Let me get some iced tea in my cup because I know I'm gonna need some more drink. This. We have ice in here. Empty. Okay. This is out of the ice maker, guys. The ice maker is amazing. Let's put some ice. Let's put some iced tea in here. All right, that's done. I think I have to put more water in the ice maker. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at this. Look at this. I'm ready to eat. I'm telling you, this could. This is just like a meal. You could even put some like chicken in it and just eat that as a meal. You don't even need to freaking have like this is, a, is 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 definitely a meal. All right, I'm gonna take. Which one do I want? I think I want this one. Oh my goodness! Look at this! Look at this! Mm -mm -mm. Happy, happy dance! Oh. Mm -mm. Mmm. Cheese. Couldn't live without cheese in my life. I just couldn't. I could not. 
Finally get the gosh tin foil. Gonna, we'll put this on top. I'm sorry if I lick my fingers, but you know, some people don't like it. I get criticized for it, but I am who I am, and it is what it is. I love all of you. I do. All right, let's. We're gonna cover the broccoli because we're not using the rest of this broccoli right now. I don't know. There's the chicken. Like I said, I'm gonna cover the chicken. I should have kept a piece of tin foil out now that now that the chicken is um cold. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Let's see. Is it tender? Mm. Oh my god. So good. All right. I'm going to put it in the microwave for just a minute just because I want my chicken to get a little bit warmer. And then I'm going to show you at the table my plate. Bird back. All right, guys. Here it is. Oh, my God. I'm going to turn these around and taste the potato, okay, for you? I have a little piece of lemon, and look what I have for my chicken, this spicy, saucy Susan. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's a little spice to it. Oh, it's delicious. I'm going to turn these around. All right. Let's turn these around. I'm not going to taste the chicken. I tasted the chicken already. It's amazing. Let's do the potato and some applesauce too, guys. Lately, I'm just craving applesauce. I got to buy more because this is the last one I have. Mmm. Oh, God. It's so good. That's delicious. My basil. I'm gonna taste a piece of chicken for you. Chicken's nice and tender. There's nothing like a fried chicken cutlet. Let's dip in some of this. I'm gonna put a little bit and put some lemon on it. My mother used to always put pork, uh, lemon on her pork chops. She always, whenever we had pork chops or chicken cutlets, she always had lemon out for us. Always, I remember. It's amazing how you remember stuff from your childhood. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good, guys. Very happy with dinner. Really wasn't too motivated to make dinner, so I'm glad I got it done. I'm always, I always feel better when I do dinner. Which I do most every night, so. <laughs> mm. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget. When you subscribe, you really help my channel grow. Buckle up, witches. And I really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell. So you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And um, thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and my home and creating. I love all of you. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Tomorrow's Fall Food Friday. I'll get that video out. If I don't, I'll explain why. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. Have a great night. Mm-mm-mm. Bye.